Hi everybody, it's Rob Z from RobZTraining.com and on today's video blog post I wanted to feature how I use Edmodo for DDI, Data Driven Instruction. That's a phrase we commonly are hearing now and more and more in schools and um, Edmodo is a great way to do that. I actually look at my scores, I can figure out who I need to intervene and work more closely with uh, based on their scores and you can do that quite easily with Edmodo. So what you're seeing right now is a copy of my current live gradebook and Edmodo is great because all the assignments I put in as you can see right across the top here they're all numbered so the kids know to work on assignment one before two and three and four and so on so if we go backwards in time here from starting with assignment one I can simply scroll through and see where everybody's at you know if I see a lot of blanks in somebody's row I can tell oops that that student might be missing a lot and I need to intervene with them um, if I needed to add a new grade, there's a button right here to add new grade, and it makes a brand new column in the gradebook. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, I've been using it for a number of years, and our school doesn't officially use Edmodo. We use something else, but it's easy for me to transfer this information elsewhere. And what helps with that is if you notice up here, we have the export button. I've already done that. I've exported it and I'll show you what it looks like here in a Google spreadsheet. Here now I get the nitty-gritty details of each and every assignment just like you saw a moment ago. However, here's the nice part. Here's the but wait there's more part. If I want to see which students are really struggling so I can base my instruction and, and really focus in on certain students, I'll take the totals column. And right now I have 11 assignments. They're all worth 100 points. So we're talking 1100 points, right? Well watch what I can do. I can sort this column i got to move myself out of the way here. I can sort this column by Z to A. In other words, give me the, the highest numbers at the top. And so right now, nobody has a perfect score, 100 in my class. But we have a lot of 700s and 600s. And as you see, I can go down and see towards the bottom of the list. Right now, I would say the kids I need to intervene most with are the ones that are in the uh, below 200 range. So these students, which are, I'm hiding it now, you can't see the left side here, but these about 10 or so students are the ones that I would trigger um, uh, when I see them coming in class. You know, we need to work on that. What's your status on that? I notice you're missing a lot of things. And usually a phone call home to get the parents involved is part of that too. So a really great way of using data-driven instruction is by using this Edmodo gradebook, both the exported version like we're seeing here, so I can do some sorting and things, and also just the plain old uh, built-in gradebook that's part of Edmodo. And um, as you can see, some assignments that say turned in, that means it's waiting for me to grade. So that at a glance lets me know which assignments I have to check uh, because they were recently turned in. What really is great, kind of a side note here in Edmodo, is what I call the putting it on my radar. They call it the notifications. And up here, this keeps me up to date, literally by the minute, of which assignments that I need to, um, which assignments I need to correct. So I'm a really big fan of that. Let me switch back here to the grade book so you can see that. I am a really big fan of that because now I can easily see at a glance, right while the class period's going on, uh, which students are needing some help and which ones are doing quite well and, and deserve some accolades. So I hope all of that made sense in today's video blog post. Again, it's on data-driven instruction by using Edmodo and combining that a little bit with Google Docs, uh, Google Spreadsheets. Thanks for watching, and again, you can subscribe to my blog at robzetraining.com.